Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the most cost-effective time and attendance solution um, using any existing computer, like a reception desk computer or a workstation, where the existing computer can carry on being used as normal, um, but connected to it uh, will be a USB connected device uh, that looks similar to this one on the screen. Um, just to give you an idea of the cost on the reader itself, um, you can find it almost anywhere. And I just want to give you a rundown of the software and how it works. Um, so, I'm first of all, going to start up the software just to show you. There's two sides to the software. There's the, the, the software front end, which is this here, um, which either can be run on the desktop, uh, on the screen itself. Uh, it'll even show you the picture of the person that's clocking, or you can hide it and run it from the tray. So, if you're hiding it running from the tray, you can carry on doing your normal work. In the meantime, this will run in the, in the background. Um, but just to give you an example and understanding how it works, you put here you could enroll a person. So you go to administrator, you say enroll, enroll fingerprint. I'm going to say I'm going to enroll um, ID number one. Okay, you type your name in over here, and your surname, and you say enter. It then comes up like this. You choose the finger that you want to enroll. So in this case, I'm going to do the index finger. So I just place my finger on the reader three times. Once it's enrolled, and this one it really exists, so I'm going to overwrite it. And once that's enrolled, it's completed. You just close there. You can enroll a second finger if you wanted to, or as many as you want to for that particular person. And then uh, you go out of the program. When you go back into the program, or you run the program in the morning, if somebody places their finger on the reader, it'll clock you. Welcome, in. Jacob. Now, what happens is you either choosing to out. clock in or clock out in. based on the state of it. In. However, you can out. click this one over here. It says automatically delete employee clock status, uh, detected clock status. Saber auto clock detection enabled. So this is auto clock. So basically what it means is if the previous clock was an in, if you place your finger on it, goodbye, it, Jacob. it'll say goodbye, Jacob. Welcome, Jacob. And if you keep clocking, you'll see goodbye, it'll change the state. Um, and what it'll also do is detect if it's a, if, 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 if you've, clocked out instead of in, you just put your finger on again and it will change the clocking to the correct condition. Um, so this can be running away from the user of this computer, hidden in the tray, and uh, just with the speaker and the device, uh, the staff can clock in and out as they come past the reception. Um, the second part to the application is the actual main application, um, which works right through to the any existing payroll or to pay slip. It's got a, a full payroll built into it, so it can work to VIP or anywhere else. Um, if you wanted to, you can enroll from here. It works in exactly the same way. So if you go here to fingerprints, you could say scan a fingerprint. And then you could choose you want to scan that, that index finger. I'll put a different finger on. So you can see, so now it's success, successful. It's enrolled. So if I close that, and I close this, you'll see that's George and the other one is Jacob. So if I go back to the Bio PC Out. and I clock with the Saber finger. auto clock detection enabled. Goodbye, Julius. Okay, so there's Welcome, Julius. Julius. And that's the other Welcome, one. Jacob. A very simple solution and very cost effective. Oh, sorry, before I go, let me just show you some reports. So if I go to the access log, there you'll see the clockings.